the temperature a little above freezing. Nevertheless, the air is hot. The engines mute. Still, things are crackling. It's showtime. The beauty faces off against the beast. Good manners versus venomous ferocity. Classic meets rock and roll. Cultivated behavior against brute force. 500 high-tech horses in the SL from AMG bolt out of eight cylinders with the help of a supercharger. Impressive, at least until the Viper opens its mouth and shows its fangs. Beneath the seemingly endless hood, we find the brutal derision of average automotive technology. 8.3 litres of displacement, a V10, 506 horsepower. Together, more than 1,000 horses start charging away, and the Viper has its first chance to really bite into the asphalt, even without any traction control. It hits 100 in only 4.2 seconds. It's already at 200 after 13.3. ESP is not part of its vocabulary. It slashes its tail like a wild beast, yearning for someone to tame it, a mean machine like no other. Just as impressive, the perfection of the SL chassis. Precise handling, only a carefree millionaire could keep under control. One concession to the modern world. The Viper does come equipped with ABS and the gripping brakes of a race car. in the wild, the viper is much more conspicuous than its counterparts in the animal world. It has its difficulties escaping the glances of onlookers, just as much as the art of consuming little fuel. Stops at the pump are a welcome break for the driver's burning foot from the gas pedal. Full throttle, the viper has trouble with its tires spinning. Fast, loud and awesome, the viper and the challenge it poses. is a car you could use on long business trips, but it's much too good even for that. Beneath its tailored suit lies the power of a racing engine. Automatic transmission, electronically governed maximum speed and 1.9 tons of curb weight are frowned upon by purists. Notching up points is something the Viper abhors, an uncompromising creature that objectively would lose any comparison test, but from a subjective standpoint wins over the hearts of many. People revere it and fear it. When the first Viper made its debut ten years ago, some said, if this car does not excite you, maybe you should check your pulse, maybe you are already dead. Whatever. If you are still alive, then you're probably broke. In Germany, Daimler Chrysler asked 105,000 euros for this purest machine. The speedometer that goes to 320 is a standard item. Also has its price and it's always been a bit more expensive moving around in a Mercedes taking this emblem out for a romp is no different around 130,000 euros in Germany
It's not a question of whether one has sufficient money or not. It's attitude that counts behind the wheel of an AMG. The SL is a car for gentlemen, the Viper for freaks. One corporation, two opposites in sports car engineering. In this particular case, we'll refrain from any judgment over which cars the better.